One of the many great things about Revit is the ability to visualize your design as it develops. And one of the best ways to do that is through the use of camera views. So camera views generate perspectives. So by placing a camera object into your model, it will generate a view as you would actually see your, your scheme or your design if you were standing there. So in this demo project, if I just show you the 3D view there, this is the project. I've created three example camera views. So there are a couple of external camera views and one internal camera view. So let's go ahead and create some camera views. In order to do so, I've switched back to a floor plan. It's always far easier to create your new camera views in a floor plan view. So I've switched back to level zero floor plan. And to find the camera tool, we go to the view menu and it's this 3D view here. And if you activate the little drop down by clicking on the, the black triangle, nestled in there, is the camera button. So hit camera. Now this is a two click operation. The first click places the camera position, i.e. where you'd be standing, where you want the view to be seen from. So let's create an external view here. So I'm gonna to click to place the camera there. Drag your cursor out. And the second click you're gonna place is the target where the camera looks towards. So you can see the cone there, um, the sort of field of vision. So let's pick up the corner of the building here. Another click. It immediately creates that camera view. If you look over in the project browser, in the 3D views group, a new view has been created, 3D view one. And there is the view itself. Let's go back to our floor plan. That view is still active, so the camera and its target can still be seen. Let's go ahead and create uh, another couple of camera views. So remember view, little drop down from the 3D view camera. I'm going to create an internal one here. Click there and there. Over in the project browser, 3D view 2, there's our new camera view. Go back to level zero, just do one more. View, 3D view drop down, camera. Now note the height of the camera is relative to the level which is associated with the view you're placing it in. What I mean by that is this particular floor plan view is associated with level zero, i.e. the level at level zero in the model. So this camera height will be relative to that particular level. We can adjust it after, and I'll show you that later on in the unit, but just worth noting that that dictates, i.e. The, the level associated with this view is, the, is what dictates the height of the camera position. So let's do one from down here, looking at the end of the building, and click to place. There's our third view, 3D view three, and there is the view itself. So once we've created our camera views, we may wish to change the height of the camera itself or the target height. Now we can do that quite easily. So let's work with this view here, 3D view two. So let's say we want to actually see these desks. So we probably want to look down slightly. Uh, so we want to lower the target height. So I'm just going to select the view itself, click on the boundary, and in the properties palette on the left, you can see there are two parameters there, one for the eye elevation, i.e. the camera height, and the target elevation. So I'm just gonna lower that down. Let's drop that down to 1250. If I put the focus back in that box there. Set that to 1250. You can see the cameras look down slightly, still cropping off the bottom of the, the desk there. So let's drop that down to a meter. And let's try 800. And there we go, just about got the desk in there. 
Likewise, we can change the eye elevation. So if we drop that down to say 900, that's the equivalent of us sort of crouching down or kneeling down, uh, still looking over at the same height of 800. So by varying those two parameters, you can fine tune uh, what level your camera is set at and what height it looks over to. So we've just seen how we can adjust our camera views vertically, but what if we need to make horizontal adjustments? So we want to, let's say, look further to the right of this scene. We can adjust the camera position and the target position in plan. Now, if I want to make adjustments to this view, i.e. 3D view 3, and I go back to level zero floor plan, I, I can't see that camera I need a way to activate it. So let's just go back for a second, 3D view three. What I need to do is click on the boundary of the view itself. And an important point here, leave that active. Don't click again, leave that highlighted in blue. Now go back to level zero and you will see the camera and its target cone here. Now at that point, you simply hover over your cursor and you can drag that camera position. You'll see a little pinkish dot there. That is the target position. We can drag that. That's where the camera's looking to. And there is an open fill dot there, which dictates the clipping plane for the camera, how far into the distance the camera can see. So we can adjust that that little open grip there. Go back to our 3D view 3 and you can see that the view has changed accordingly. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.